we're experiencing Galaxy's Edge through the metaverse. May the Force be with us. First thing, I'm a big Star Wars fan. I'm wearing my Grogu <laughs> collared shirt. And uh, unfortunately, not a very big basketball fan, although if you are a basketball fan, I applaud you. But unfortunately, if you are a basketball fan, the NBA experience has closed down. We never wanted to the NBA yes. experience. For you guys that don't know, uh, this building used to be the building that housed uh, <coughs> Disney Quest, which was much loved, uh, a little like a gaming platform, almost like a, and it was very hard to describe, but there was a lot of different games in Disney Quest. And they closed that down to make way for the NBA experience, which was, which was only open for a few months. Not even a full year, right? So unfortunately, NBA experience closed down. Uh, did have pretty positive reviews, but I guess it just wouldn't have the demand in this particular area. But I'm very excited because they have made a limited time event here at the Disney Quest building for what, Sam? Do you know? Star Wars. It's, Star, it's Galaxy, yes, it's VR. It's through Meta. Meta is the company that owns Facebook, and the, you are going to experience the edge of Galaxy, uh, Gal, well, the, not the edge of Galaxy's Edge, but you're going to go outside Batuu. So right outside Black, 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 Black Spire Outpost, and you're gonna, I guess it'll be a game, is what I'm assuming, right? It's a headset you put on, uh, it's the Oculus, which is owned by Meta now, former, you know, used to be called Facebook, now called Meta. So you put on the headset, and I think they have it like themed in there a little bit as well. Um, it only runs for a limited time though, right, Sam? Yes, it May is. May 2nd to July 21st. Why am I even here? <laughs> I'll go. <laughs> no. Well, uh, Sam, we both have we time did. for 15. So there used to be the Void. Yes. That had Star Wars. Yes. I was so scared. <laughs> the first time we did it, I literally had to take the headset off for a minute because I had so freaked out. The Void and was so cool and much he, loved. He loved it so much, he did it the night before our wedding. Yeah, I did it twice. Uh, and in that, you encountered Darth Vader. Unfortunately, the Void closed down, so I guess this is kind of like a spiritual successor to the Void, although not like the Void, because I'm pretty sure you stand in one spot with the headset on. We, you also, you have to check in via a QR code, and there are times right at the front, so you can't reserve in advance. You have to come here same day and check in. Uh, it, took, it was about an hour and an hour and 15 minutes we have to wait. So we're gonna probably get some food first, walk around Disney Springs. We'll show you guys what we eat. Uh, but the main thing is, is experiencing this virtual reality experience brought to you by Meta. So we're going to enter the Metaverse you for the very first time. I am. I'm a big Star Wars fan. So I'm hoping this is as good, or it probably won't be as good, but this uh, lives up to the hype of The Void. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Join us for our journey into where, Sam? The Metaverse. The Metaverse. <laughs> Alright, so we've never been in the House of Blues before. I didn't know this existed. Like, yeah. this booth outside of House of Blues. Yeah, it's quick service. It's like quick service barbecue. barbecue. And it was very quick. Like, yeah, like two seconds. Yeah. Uh, Sam got the barbecue chicken salad. We got and some onions, uh, barbecue ranch, which I'm excited for. Yeah, and there's live music. It's really cute over here. Yeah. Like Shady. The fountains, the trees, the lights. Yeah, very atmospheric. I'm hungry. Ready to eat? Yeah. All right, Sam just tried out her barbecue chicken salad. It's good. It's very cool. The chicken is like super cool. Um, I mean, is it a five? It's supposed to be. No, it's six. Okay. I'm gonna try this ranch. Now remember, this isn't the dine-in option. This is just the quick service right outside. I just wanted something little, quick. You only have like an hour. Barbecue ranch. For our reservation. Mm. I do like the barbecue ranch. I know I got the pulled pork sandwich with came, which came with these little beans, and um, also you put I guess you put the barbecue sauce on yourself for this because it's a it's a dry boy. <laughs> dry. It's a young dry boy. All right, let's uh, let's take a bite into this barbecue pulled pork. Mm.
Did we get napkins? I didn't get napkins. We do this often. It's tender, it's good. I believe it's seven. It's solid seven. Sweet sauce. I see how the beans are. That's interesting. There's more like sauce than beans. Yeah, it's not my favorite beans. So these are the uh, smokehouse nachos, right, Sarah? Yeah. Definitely different than Hershey bars. The beans, they didn't taste like fully cooked for some reason. Mm. Are those onions on there? Yeah. There's corn, cojita cheese, guac. Yeah, this is good. The ch I tried some chips before. The chips are salty, though. Hey, this is seven. These are good. What do you think of House of Blues? It was good. I really like yeah. the, the atmosphere. So we just had the smokehouse, which is like a little barbecue like joint. It's not. I, I want to say pit, but I don't think it's a pit. If it is a pit, correct me in the comments. Uh, but it's like a little smokehouse right next to the restaurant, and then they actually have the House of Blues shop, and then there's like a club, live music. I really love the aesthetic of it uh, yeah. with the fountain, and they had like these little like machine men. I don't know what they're I actually called. But it looked cool. I like my style. I really like yeah. nachos. Nachos were, were solid. It was probably my favorite thing was the nachos. The barbecue was okay. Um, I didn't try your salad. I would definitely like to go back to try the actual food that's on the menu, you know? Uh, but I think it was like a nice, good, quick option. It's, it's literally, literally a, like right across from where we're going. Yeah, from the NBA experience. And City Works is actually connected. We were thinking about going to City Works, but we weren't sure if we had time for a sit down. But now it's 6.55. You can show up 15 minutes early to your reservation at uh, Meta. Galaxy's Edge. <laughs> Well, it's the Never metaverse. Will. It's like you got a headset on and you're existing in this different universe. So I guess we're gonna find. You're uni gonna find one out. One universe is enough for me. <laughs> I'm pretty tired. All right, let's uh, let's get in line and check in. There's the meta symbol, Sam. So what you're gonna do is just follow this line. This line right here. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So you are gonna go hang out with Fever Fucking Phil in his cantina. You're able to eat in there, you can dream, you can play the Cramborambas, you can play repulsal darts, it's gonna be amazing. And you can even go out for some can to hand combat Ooh. with the groove in death game. So it gets like intense, okay? Uh -oh. okay. This is it's a, a wild deal. Monday night. <laughs> right. You just got off work. Yeah. Don't you love it? I love it. We're gonna get started. You said it's eight minutes, right? Eight to ten ish, depending on how far you get. So you have you can stay in the cantina for the whole eight to ten minutes. Okay. Or go outside, do both. But yes, eight to ten minutes. Okay, and then it's complimentary, right? Absolutely. All right, this is nice. the best part. <laughs> I think right. they would have took the money already if we got this far. I love it. <laughs> All right, I'm excited. The middle fingers here, it's like you pick things up and throw them. Pick so them up. those things pick up. You okay. got it. Yep, pick up and throw. Point of fingers is how you select things and shoot. Okay. Select and shoot. All right. I'm gonna put these on your hand in just a moment. So those are the only two things I need to know. For the moment, yes. You can, if you want, you can toggle around to walk. But okay. we're gonna teleport, okay? Cause we like the easy life, okay? <laughs> so when you see blue little squares on the ground there, it's gonna say teleport. So you aim at it, click it, and you teleport. Oh, so awesome. if you wanted to walk, who wants to do that? <laughs> Barbaric. <laughs> so that's that. I will put these on you in a moment. Okay. As far as the headset, we're gonna put it on like a baseball cap and pull it down, okay. okay? And then you can tighten this at the top if need be. So it's lefty loosey, righty tighty. Okay. Okay, I'll hand that to you. All right, so then, like a baseball cap. Beautiful. Yeah, I got the big hair, so. <laughs> no, my hair's big. <laughs> <laughs> the right tight. There, there we go. go. Win. Right. And then I can I pull yep, this. Yep, if you need it, yep. I'll go. There you go. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> right. So as far as the controllers, could you put both of your arms out in a fist for me? Okay. When you get in there, you're going to see a parameter so you don't like run into a wall or something like yes. that. <laughs> but if you get close to one of these walls, is it okay for me to tap you on your shoulder to bring you back? Yeah, yeah. Perfect. You can tap them very hard. I right. got permission. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's happening. Okay. There you are. So now, do you see where it says play? Uh, where it says, oh, I got to go this way. Okay, yeah, now I see. It. Beautiful. You can select that and you're jumping in. This is a J-cam. I like the J-cams work. Oh, there's a repulsive dart. See on the wall, the darts there? That's oh, the view. The oh, look at 
look at the view. Can I go to the Falcons? Well, you know, no, but that's a good question. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for asking. <laughs> <laughs> that view is amazing, though. <laughs> and so if the darts are in front of you, the little podium, right there, right. And you're going to press the red button when we see it with your finger. Press the red button. A little button. bit. Yeah, look down a little bit more. Oh, there we go. Enough. And you don't have to throw the darts. Hold it up and release it. Aim it. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, aim and release it. On the other side, straight across, there's a cranberamba. And you're able, I don't see it in your view right now. But oh, where did I go? Sam, we just finished up and now they have this free swag they set over here. Let's check out the swag. Oh, thank you. Is this a water bottle or? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Metal water bottle. All right, so I couldn't see myself, Sam. So I don't know how ridiculous I look, which I'm, I'm sure I looked pretty ridiculous. Uh, but it is a decently fun experience. If you are familiar with gaming, you'll probably be able to move around a bit easier than what I did. Uh, the, the teleporting, I just kept running the walls and stuff. But it was definitely cool to shoot some bad guys over there. Also, you told us on the way out, Sam, the experience is different every time, right? Yeah. So you can shoot people, you can build drones. Build drones. Yes, I sh played some darts. You could play, uh, I'm a, uh, what do you call it, uh, an instrument actually, like some music there in the Star Wars universe. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to figure that out. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure with a few more tries, you'd be able to figure it out. It's definitely a fun experience. I think what's really cool about it is the fact that it's complimentary. You don't have to pay anything to experience it. And on your way out, they give you some swag, right? Two meta water bottles. It also looks pretty cool in there. They've kind of decked it out. Uh, the pods are cool. Like, they're big. I thought they were yeah. going to be small. Yeah. They were very spacious. Yeah. It's a nice setup. Yeah, it's a nice setup. You do wait a little bit. So if you have a 715 reservation, you may wait a little bit to actually get in. So we showed up about 15 minutes early. I would definitely recommend doing that. Um, that being said, like, they, I'm not sure if they're cast members or not, but the meta employees were very helpful. Uh, very, oh, they, they, they rooted on. She made it. She yeah. was great. Yeah, if you're a Star Wars fan, I definitely think it's something worth checking out. Uh, also, if you're a gaming fan that's interested in those Oculus headsets and learning more about them, I definitely recommend checking those out as well. Uh, overall, I think a fun experience, worth a try, especially for a Star Wars fan. What would you think, Sam? I mean, you didn't really do it. It's funny watching you. I mean, I like the, it's set off nice. Yeah. The staff was really nice. Yeah. And everyone seemed excited. Yeah. It's a good energy. Yeah, it's a cool novelty, and it's only available for July. So if you're a Star Wars fan, you're Disney Springs, definitely worth something checking out. And you get a free water bottle on your way out. Get some nachos. Yeah, I was supposed nachos. We're Possibly good. Stand. Yeah. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Liking will really help our channel grow and push this video out to the stratosphere of the YouTube algorithm. Helps other people find the video. Subscribing also helps our channel grow. Hit the bell notification so that way you're notified every time that videos come out, which is fun. Every Monday and Thursday as well. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Don't count the days. Make the days count. We will see you next time. That's all, folks. Yeah, I'm happy we did it. I think it was a fun thing to do after work, you know. Maybe not a worth a giant wait for, but if you're in Disney Springs, it's, it's open. <laughs> oh, we also went in the M&M store. Uh, I think the one in Times Square is actually a little bit better. It you know? smells like chocolate. Oh yeah, they got the great chocolate like, smell. It smells like Hershey's chocolate. Yeah, the Hershey's okay. chocolate pump and smell, they pump in everything. All right, good night from Galaxy's Edge. Tales from Galaxy's Edge.